In 1911, a horrific fire killed 146 people in Manhattan. The victims were immigrants who worked at the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory. The majority of them, women and girls, trapped by a locked door, forced to jump out of windows to escape the flames. Their deaths became a catalyst for change and led to reforms in safety protections for workers. Today, New York paid tribute to the victims with a new memorial. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Charlesworth. These are original pictures from what is called New York's most horrific tragedy prior to 9-11, the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire. This was where women's blouses were sewn by immigrant girls as young as 11, and the fabric and scraps made it a tinderbox. Workers were crowded inside, and when the fire started and spread on the ninth floor, all exits were locked to keep the girls inside, and only one of four elevators was working. Dozens of girls had no choice. They were forced to jump to their death on the sidewalk. 146 died. These are little girls. They were young people came here. Their parents came here in search of the American dream. Even a 14-year-old was killed, little Rosa, who had her whole life ahead of her. In fact, major labor and fire laws were demanded by a shocked New York because of this tragedy. Ladders did not go up to those floors. 1911. This is the building behind me. This was the actual Triangle Shirtwaist Factory at the corner of Green and Washington Place. If you know NYU, it's just one block east of Washington Square Park. All of the names are in the memorial. The youngest, 14 years old, most of them were girls, all killed in this fire in 1911. They worked seven day weeks, never had a day off. They worked 13 hour days and were paid about $6 per week. Suzanne Bass's two great aunts were in that fire. One survived, but the other did not. Those innocent young souls who left their homes on the morning of March 25th, 1911, never to return, are finally permanently honored. The memorial is designed to use the sun to shine the victims' names seemingly from the sky. It has been in the works for more than a decade and is finally here, 112 years after the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory fire happened.